Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video is a birthday reflection. Ha! Ah, it's my birthday, August 9th, and I'm so excited to be here in, in Christ. I wanted to share with you some gifts that I received. This I got from Judith over at Expressions of Faith with Judith, my sister in Christ. I love her. We're developing a great relationship and fellowship. She asked me, well, she said, is your birthday coming up? I think your birthday is coming up. I wanted to send you something, and she sent me this beautiful beautiful portfolio Webster's pages type notebook and I love it it was the perfect gift I love flowers I love portfolios and I'm measuring it right now because it's about the size of a little bit bigger than a composition notebook so inside of it is a composition notebook which is beautiful and I already know what I'm going to do with it nice pockets on the sides I want to add in some journaling cards kind of decorate it really pretty and everything like that so uh, I'm going to work on that and this is the notebook this is a composition notebook but it was just so pretty and so thoughtful and I love notebooks and Judith nailed it so I'm in the back of it this was a composition notebook that I recovered and I've shown a video on this before I took out the pages that I worked and I didn't like the way I was setting it up so I know what I'm going to put in this one as well and this fits perfectly in this portfolio so just like a traveler's notebooks have those covers now I have one for my composition notebook so I'm excited to build on this and really make good use of it so once again Judith thank you I love you I appreciate you thinking of me on my birthday and um, thank God for you my other beautiful sister Gail we call each other sunflower sisters because we love sunflowers over at Gail bookish and things and I'll put a link to her uh, channel below as well and she sent me this beautiful card and this popcorn I do love popcorn and it's Amish com country popcorn so I'm interested to find out how this tastes and it's a great time because my husband and I are watching movies together so Gail I love you thank you so much for thinking of me and I can't wait to eat this popcorn and finally I was watching Samantha over at Glory Express Bible and Creative Journaling Plus and she had this God Hears Her Our Daily Bread devotion. I love Our Daily Bread. You guys know that because I've done plenty of videos using their devotions. And this is one for women and by women. And look at these flowers. Here we go again. And it matches the book that Judith bought me. So I may couple these together and use them. I don't know. But I still do know what I'm going to do with the book that Judith sent me. But looking at this they may go together or they may not because this is like a journaling bible slash reflection devotion i think that is so cool you have the beauty of our daily bread so if you love our daily bread devotions you would love this if you love bible journaling or just journaling notes and thoughts based on devotions that you read this is perfect it's dated and you have enough space to write a short reflection if you don't have a lot of time you can decorate the page or you can write your prayer or your thoughts based on what you've read and I think this was really great and I'm so glad I watched uh, Samantha's video because I was like I have to get this and this was a perfect gift I got mine from Amazon I don't know where else you can get it but if you go to amazon.com you can order it and you'll have it some of the pages as you can see they have drawings already on it that I don't like because it takes away from your space to write so what I can do is I can cover that with a journaling card praise and pray has journaling strip cards that are almost this size if not exactly this size so on one of my videos I'm going to show you I couldn't find it I'm looking for it now behind me and I can't find one that I had printed out but I will in future videos show you how you can just cover that with copy paper. I would use cardstock so you can't see through it, or a, a long or a long journaling card, and you can just do your art and writing over that. So that's the way to count to kind of counter the art that's already there. And if you like the art there and you want to have it, then color it and decorate around it. That's another option, which I may show as well. So I just wanted to share with you guys this this Bible reflections our daily bread devotion which I thought was a really great idea so now let's get into the birthday reflections right now I am in my prayer gratitude planner and I'm setting up my weekly section for this week and since 
it's my birthday. I want to just spend this time to reflect on my birthday and that my and my years on this earth. That's what I want to ask you guys. Do you when it's your birthday now that we're in Christ, do you reflect over your life and see how much or if you have grown and the things that you've grown from and things that you need to grow from? And this is what I'm like reflecting on without going too deep because it's very personal. So you see the little girl to the side, and that's the side of me growing up. And then on the other side is more or less me being a grown woman. And just the things that I experienced growing up as a child and how I felt as a child. And now that I am saved and in Christ and how my view of myself, my life, things that have happened to me, good and bad, how it has shaped the woman that I am today and just coming from this little girl who was just so felt out of place and didn't feel like she belonged anywhere and now I'm in the family of God and I'm so accepted in the beloved and that's all not I don't want to say it like that not that it's all that matters but it's what most matters to me and I that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made that I am who I am by the grace of God, if for some reason I don't feel loved, if for some reason I don't feel like I belong, I know that I am loved by him. I know that I belong to him because he chose me. He called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. And I just want to reflect over my life. And now that I'm in Christ, I have the best life ever. And I'm so grateful to God to be where I am in the Lord in terms of just being in the family of God. And I wonder if when it's your birthday, do you reflect over your life? Do you think about where God has brought you from? And just so grateful for having another year. With COVID and everything, a lot of people didn't see another birthday. And I'm so grateful for that. I get to see another birthday. And so I just blessed and praise God for life and then life eternal. This is a kid from Beautiful Good News and it's called Reflect Christ. And I thought this was really good because it had women and it looked like they're three different kind of age groups. And I wanted to just journal it in my Bible to reflect once again. Again, this is a birthday reflection and I am in Psalm 100. This may not seem like it makes sense, but it will. Psalm 100 says, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. This is the verse right here. This is the part. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. The Lord is good. His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And here are three generations of women. I'm in that middle age group. And so just reflecting over my life as a young woman, middle age, and then the Lord spared my life. I get to live to be an older woman. And throughout these stages, I want to reflect Christ. And I'm hoping and praying that in each stage of my life, I am reflecting Christ. Christ and I'm thankful I'm his I'm the sheep of his pasture and that is praiseworthy I belong to him he made me who I am and he's making me conforming me into the image of Christ and that's what I want to reflect on when I look in the mirror am I reflecting Christ do people see Sherry or are they seeing Christ and that's something that I want to challenge myself and I do each and every day. Less and less of Sherry, more and more of Christ. And as I allow the Spirit of God to grow me, to convict me, to challenge and change me, I will reflect more of Christ and less of Sherry. And that is my desire. That is my goal. 
because I want to please him. And I want to let you guys know, I thank God for you. I appreciate you so much. I do pray for you. I pray over this channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for your love, your support, your encouragement, your suggestions, everything. I ask that you will keep me in prayer as I keep you in prayer. I love you guys so much. And I thank you for your support and your kindness. Take care.